we want to do a Power Query in Excel for Mac. On going into the Data tab in Excel for Mac, you can see that the ribbon is slightly different than it is in Excel for Windows. We don't have the same optionality to find different types of Power Queries to connect to different web sources. The just same number of different options aren't there. So it's still possible to do Power Queries in Excel for Mac. It's just a little bit more awkward. First step that we have to do is just go to your Finder and let's just do a search in our Finder for the folder of Queries. Make sure that we're looking in the whole Mac. And we can see a Queries folder here. Inside that folder, you'll see a number of sample queries. We want to open up one of those queries in Microsoft Word by clicking and dragging onto the dock. When you drag it onto the dock, Microsoft Word will ask what text encoding is it in, and we'll go with the Mac OS default. Click OK, and you'll see a readable document here. There's a sample URL, and it's suggesting the Yahoo historical data of prices. If we take this URL and put it into a browser, we'll see Yahoo historical table of prices. And it's also suggesting to put your ticker right in the place where I'm highlighting now. Let's just put in a ticker there of Google. And I'm going to resave this file, but I'm going to put a new name on it. And the new name I'm going to put on it is just the ticker, so I can easily spot it. Make sure we save it as plain text. And when we go to save it, make sure we leave the text encoding at Mac OS. Now return to Excel. Put your cursor into the cell in which we want the first cell of the data to appear. Rather than going to the Data tab in Excel, go up to the Data menu. Drop down to Get External Data, Run Web Query. This will bring us into the Queries folder. We can select the query that we're just after making. Click on Get Data. And the historical data is gotten. And we can see here we've got historical data, about 101 rows of it, or five months. And note, like just with the Power Query in Excel for Windows, this data will update every time we refresh the data in the Data tab. And that's Power Queries in Excel for Mac.